hello guys welcome back to another video in this video i am going to show you how can we download files in react native let's start uh, you can see here i have already run the project for ios and android uh, for this tutorial i am going to follow this blog site In step one, you need to install the RN phase blob uh, package. This one. Uh, I am using Yarn, that's why I am using the second command. Just copy it and paste it over here. Uh, go to the IS directory and run port install. On second step, I need to give permissions for file download. Uh, just copy these permissions and go to your Android app source main and Android manifest.xml file and just paste it over here and just save that in case of iOS you need to copy these lines of code just copy and go to info.plist file Go inside iOS and the project directory info.pnist. Here you need to add those lines and save. Or you can go and you can add it on export. for that playlist and here you need to add these documents uh, folder user description and download folder user description just by clicking on this plus button and then just uh, kill the project project and rerun the project And here also go to your project directory and run the run the project. Uh, now and say third step. In third step. Just copy these lines of code Just copy it Here I'm going to create one directory Inside that directory, I'm going to create one file index.js Here I'm going to paste that code that I copied from the blog site This function uh, will ask for the permission of an Android device and this download of uh, Download image function handles the file download. The save it. And in fourth step, just copy content of the console. Just 
just best. Part with a staring also, and in first pad, the bottom. Just save it. Okay, here in our, in my case, uh, it's PDF, so I'm going to replace this function name with file. Just save it. Uh, in case of Android, when you click on download button, it will ask for the permission first. And if uh, permissions is granted, then it will call the download file function and it will download the file. But in case of uh, iOS, it will directly call the download files and save uh, that file into cache. Then we need to open that file in the preview and it will be downloaded from there. First of all, I am going to download from Android device. You can see the pop up is coming. Just hello the permission. Ah, you can see the file is downloaded for PyOS. It will give a pop up like this. Uh, you can just click on save top two files. Here you can save the save it. Here you can see the file is saved here. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.